Good morning. Hi, everybody. Good morning. I look like a mom that goes on hikes right now. And I know that. <laughs> it is 7 in the morning. It's actually 7-11, which is one of my lucky numbers. I feel like normally when I vlog, I don't really vlog everything. And I tend to cut a lot of things out. Like my shower routine, my workout routine, my like all of it. And so today I decided I'm going to film literally everything I do today. So right now it's 7 in the morning. I have some interviews today at around 1130. So I needed to get my workout done early in the morning. I don't want to do it. It's 55 degrees. I'm fucking freezing. I have a Celsius to help me. I have been driving to this hiking trail every morning to go on my run. And the reason why I like it is because it's more in nature. When I run around my neighborhood, it does not feel like I'm in nature and it's actually depressing. When I have the time and I have the motivation, this has been something that I've been doing and I am kind of loving it. Like I'd be lying if I said I didn't love it. It's like just me, fuck. Okay, the lighting is gonna be bad and you guys are just gonna have to deal. Hey, look at my mouth, it's so cute. It looks like I'm wearing like a cool superhero mask. It's only 55 degrees and I'm literally wearing a whole like headband, but I'll explain. I am cold in the morning when it's 55 degrees. And unfortunately for me, this headband really helps. The other day, funny story time before we arrive at our running location, the other day, when I went on my run slash hike, I brought a Celsius, which is like a green tea energy drink. And then I also brought a coffee. And I drank both of those. And then I went on my run. There were a few things that went wrong. And I know you guys don't want to hear about my bowel movements, but all I can say is don't drink a lot of caffeine before you exercise unless you've maybe had a little bit of time on the toilet first. I tried to go on my run and enjoy it, but it was so unenjoyable. I finished my run, sped all the way home, probably at illegal speeds. My point is prepare better than me. Also, I hate the road that I have to take to get to my hiking trail because it's literally so narrow and everybody on it has the worst fucking road rage. If you live in LA, I'm driving on Laurel Canyon. I don't know if that's gonna res. I just don't like driving on Laurel Canyon. Why is there so much honky and honking? Why? Why are we honking our horns? Let's be nice. Let's love each other. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> I don't wanna go. It's fucking freezing. I farted. I don't wanna. I farted again. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Ah! This happens every time. I'm like, Emma, you could just turn around and go back home. But I know that I'll feel really good after I do this. Running uphill, holy shit. It will burn your damn glutes. I just want to have a... You know? Like, is that how you grow your butt muscles? I don't even care. I don't even care. I, I don't think I actually... I don't think my body's actually capable of growing a dump. Guys, we're kind of close together. Should I just give you a forehead kiss? Like... What, three minutes into the video? Ow, fuck, I hit my head. Ow, I hit my head! <laughs> I met one of you guys the other day. Um, I was at an Ikea, actually. By the way, Ikea is super underrated. I had a lot of fun when I was there. I met one of you guys and you were like, you actually smell really good. Like everybody says online that you're dirty, but you actually smell really good. So suck on that, haters. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously suck on that. My haters aren't smelling me IRL. I smell pretty fucking good. And I brush my teeth three times a day, idiot. Here we go. <sighs> okay, I'm back. You'll never guess what happened. I I'm halfway through the run. I need to go to the bathroom. I swear, how do I avoid this? Anyway, I'm gonna hold my desire to go to the bathroom in for the next 10 minutes because after I go on my little run, I like to do a meditation. I know, it's shocking. <coughs> I like to do it after I run because there's no distractions. I'm just in my car. It might be weird to do it in my car uh, in the middle of this hiking trail. Like it might be a little bit weird, but I think it's early enough in the morning where nobody's gonna walk by. Um, I use an app and I think I'm going to do I'm sorry, 
I am. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a loving kindness. See if you can take this spirit and feeling of loving kindness for yourself and others with you throughout your day. I'm up. I had a really hard time focusing during that meditation. I just felt like my mind was all over the place. Might meditate again today because I feel like that one was just, I was literally like, my eyes were closed and it was like, Blank, and then all of a sudden it would be like, and feeling of loving kindness. Hey, you have to poop really bad, and like that's what my thoughts were doing. So I tried, but anyway. Also, if you see this lump in my um, let me show you something, it's my car key. Not like a really bad boob job, because I know you're probably thinking that I did not get my boobs done. Thank you, they're still small. Bye. Oh, fuck. that's not the right one. It's time to shower. And that leads us to our sponsor of today's video, Function of Beauty. Thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Function of Beauty is my fave hair care because it's custom. You go online, you take a quiz, Function of Beauty makes the perfect shampoo, conditioner, and other products for your hair. Personally, my hair is very damaged because I bleached it for eight months. So I went on the site and when I was taking the quiz, I selected that I wanted to fix my split ends, hydrate my hair, replenish my hair, deep condition my hair, and strengthen my hair. I chose the pear scent, because you can choose your scent. Also, you can put your name on it, which is really fun. I've been using it, honestly, for over a year, and I love it because it's personalized, so as my hair care needs change, I can change my shampoo and conditioner to match perfectly for my needs at that time. When I'm blonde, I need a different shampoo. Now that I'm brunette, I need a different shampoo. And not only that, but they also have other hair care products. One of my favorites is the serum, and I put this on after I shower, and it just makes my hair feel silky smooth and amazing. Also, Function of Beauty is paraben-free, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, vegan. It's great! And if you want your products to be silicone-free, you can also select that, but I don't really know anything about that. Go to the link in my description and then get 20% off your first set. I love these. I've been using them for years. Um, thank you, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Now I need to get in the shower because I'm wasting water. So, I'm out of the shower. I thought I would show you some of my favorite in-shower products. This is my body wash. It is the only thing that doesn't make me break out in hives because I have such sensitive skin. Johnson's Head to Toe Wash and Shampoo for Babies. It's embarrassing, but it's the truth. And then I use this face wash. Um, it's the Bad Habit Matcha Mint Daily Cleanser. And this is what I use in the shower. I also brush my teeth in the shower with my favorite toothpaste, Sensodyne. So that's kind of my shower routine. And then obviously I wash my hair using the Function of Beauty products that I showed earlier. So I take out, oh, this thing is amazing too. You can like walk around and let your hair kind of dry without having to like towel dry it. Like, okay, I hate this. I hate trying to walk around the house with a massive towel and like fucking swinging around and shit. It doesn't stay on. That's why you need a hair towel like this. I'm gonna take some serum. Rub it into the end. I've been trying to avoid blow drying my hair, so I just let it air dry. Because I went through a phase there where I was blow drying my hair and I think it made my hair 50 times more damaged. Now it's time for skincare. I'm gonna do a little eye cream because my eyes have been so dry. Like the skin around my eyes have been so dry. So I'm putting on eye cream. Now moisturizer. And then I just got this new lip balm. This lip balm? I'm a huge lip balm gal, like it's my shit. Um, and I was really excited about this one because it comes with a little metal thing and you fucking dip it in there and then you... It's really not convenient. Like it's more convenient to just use your finger but there's something really nice about that. It's only like 10 a.m. and so I have like an hour and a half until all of my calls start for the day. So the question is, what now? I learned the beginning of a Mac DeMarco song. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this. if you know what Mac DeMarco song that is. Okay, I'm not, I'm sitting too far from it. Look at me making excuses. I'm like, I'm sitting too far from the drum set. That is why it sounds bad. No, but that actually sounds better. So that is what the problem was. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do right now? That's really responsible and good of me. I am going to take my mugs downstairs and my cups. I'm actually gonna take them downstairs. Guys, this literally never happens, but for some reason, you guys are inspiring me. I haven't made a coffee yet today. I haven't had coffee yet today. 
but I'm not really like ready. Like sometimes I like to give my tummy a break, but then at the same time I'm like, do I want to give my tummy a break? <coughs> I'm sorry. Cups are in the sink. ChamberlainCoffee.com, we have these cute new tumblers. I've been using them every day. I go through phases. Sometimes I'm like, all I want is a latte, and then sometimes I'm like, all I want is cold brew. I'm having a cold brew phase. This is my favorite right now. Link in bio. Woo! Almond milk. Mmm. And then we take this. You guys know the drill by now. It's like, this is not y'all's first rodeo. My favorite colored straw, because drinking out of a colored straw is funner than drinking out of a normal one. Trust me. Delish. Fun fact about me, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, working from home, you only have to dress up from the waist up. For me, I don't even dress up from the waist up. I don't dress up at all for Zoom calls. I will do interviews. I will do meetings in full pajamas, no makeup, hair in the most ratty bun you've ever seen, and I don't care. For me, I'm like, okay, well then what am I supposed to do before my meetings, because I don't need to get ready, I can just literally sit in bed like this. Some people might say, Emma, that's unprofessional. I say no, it creates comfort and relatability in the workplace. I kind of feel a little bit nauseous, which is, it is concerning me. Like, why am I getting nauseous in the mornings? Am I pregnant? That's not really possible. Um, well, I mean, one time I saw a video, well, whatever. I'm not pregnant. If my body is slightly, um, a little bit out of whack in some way, I immediately assume I'm pregnant. Can you imagine me pregnant? Like, talk about the emotional disaster. Sorry, my hair's really soft, so I'm just touching it. So, I've never shown me doing this before, but we're gonna do a time lapse of me doing emails. I know. It's a crazy reality that I don't talk about. It's like, yes, I actually do read emails. Not a lot, because I, avoid it at all costs, but today we're reading emails, so. Okay, you get the gist. Okay. I have about 60 seconds before my first interview starts for the day. I'm doing a few press interviews. I'm actually really hungry now, but I didn't manage my time. God, I really hope they don't mind that I look like shit because these are all on camera interviews, but whatever. Hi, Emma. What's up, guys? My calls are over. Woo! Time to make some lunch because I wasn't hungry for breakfast. Now I'm fucking starving and hangry. I'm thinking I want to make Brussels sprouts. Oh my God, literally fit check. We're gonna make some Brussels sprouts and then maybe something else, maybe like a veggie burger in the air fryer or something. I set my oven to 450. Now let's get out our ingredients. Brussels sprouts, tahini. This is disgusting, this bottle is disgusting. More tahini because I think that one's running out. Lemon juice, salt and pepper, harissa, sumac, olive oil. I believe that's it. When it comes to food, I'm very much about convenience and so I like to cook a lot at once so that I can just eat it for the next few days. I love Brussels sprouts so much. So many people hate Brussels sprouts and I just like don't get how you could hate them. Like they're just so good. I don't know if it's an age thing, but like I'm starting to appreciate vegetables and I'm like, I feel like an old loser. Like I feel like an old lady being like, mm, I love I love Brussels sprouts. I've also recently fallen in love with going to the grocery store. I had a phase there where I refused to go to the grocery store. But the other day I went there and I was like, wait, this place is low key chill as fuck. And also like very therapeutic. I, I Kind of, am I just turning into a mom? Like I'm starting to meditate. I'm starting to go on walks. I'm starting to enjoy going to the grocery store. I can't tell if I'm just like having a crisis or if this is just like adulthood. Like I don't know. And cooking for fuck's sake. My mom told me the other day that cabbage and Brussels sprouts are from the same family. And that really made me realize that they actually look very similar. Like doesn't this look like a cabbage to you? No? Shut up. Shut up right now, leave. We have all of our trimmed Brussels sprouts in a bowl. We're gonna add some tahini. I eyeball it. I don't really care. As long as everything's evenly coated, I'm happy. Okay, we're gonna add a lot of tahini. That might even be too much tahini, but I don't really give a fuck. Lemon juice, you can pour a pretty generous amount in there because we have a lot. Now, load it up on the salt. A lot of salt, y'all. Crack some black pepper. Although this pepper grinder sucks ass. Now add this harissa seasoning. You can be pretty generous with it. I like to add kind of a lot. Oh fuck, it got all over the counter. And now we're going to mix. Oh, I forgot olive oil. Sprinkle some olive oil in there. Once everything is nicely coated, pan, parchment paper. 
Okay, now you have your beautiful Brussels sprouts and the oven is not preheated yet, so let's figure out what else I'm going to eat. You know what, I might eat. I'll tell you, tempeh with flax in it. And tempeh is basically, what even is it? Soybeans that are made into, it's weird, it's weird, but it's a great source of protein for us vegetarians. And I made some the other night that's spicy peanut flavor. And I'm just gonna eat it cold, I don't even care. Brussels sprouts will be done in probably 20 minutes. So until then, I'm going to clean. Um, I know that that was very dark footage, but oh my God, I forgot to set a timer for my Brussels sprouts. God damn it. Okay, I think they're done. Wow, crispy Brussels sprout city. So now we have the finishing touches, right? I like to kind of gather them all together in the center. Now we take a little bit of this sumac and we just drench it, add a little bit more salt, and then it's done. Mm -hmm. Now we serve a little bit for the queen. The queen is me. Fuck. Yes, I just ate it off the floor. Mm. I'm the type of person that eats in a very peculiar way. I'm not putting everything on the same plate. I'll go into my fridge, eat shit out of the fridge, and then five minutes later I'll find something else to eat. I'll eat that. I don't like plate up a full meal ever. I mean my Brussels sprouts, bye. This vlog, I put on rings randomly. I was like, ooh, I wanna put on rings. Why is my pinky shaking? Here's the next thing I need to do today. I need to record podcast ads. If you guys didn't know I have a podcast, it's called Anything Goes, available anywhere you listen to it or stream podcasts. And I need to record some ads for it. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I go into my little podcast recording studio in my home, which is actually my closet room. Sit on the ground. This is where I record all my podcasts. Oh my God, did you see my wiener? Oh my God, you can see me in the mirror and it looks really awkward. Okay, let's fix that. So this is how I record my podcast. This is my podcast recording equipment and I'm going to record a few things. This is really what my day-to-day -day life looks like. Like this is what never really hits the camera. It's like me like fucking sitting here and recording something for my podcast, which is actually anything goes, uh, can be found on Spotify. You guys can get 24 five, fuck. Okay, I'm done. That was it. I literally have nothing I want to do. Like, I don't need to go grocery shopping. I definitely don't need to go buy clothes. I definitely don't need to go buy, like, makeup or skincare. Like, I, the last thing I need to do is go buy anything. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do when I do this every day? I'm like, what today? And I should get my nails done, but I'm too lazy. Ah! Damn it. Fuck it, okay. That was enough of that. Guys, I need to do something. I need to do something with my day. I got the things I needed to get done, done today. And now I'm like, okay, what do you do now? So I think I'm gonna make a nail appointment. Are you kidding me? Hi, can I make an appointment for an acrylic fill today? Yes, that works. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we now have a nail appointment. She's making muffins. See, I'm not the only one in the family who cooks. Time to make myself look cute. I'm really not in the goddamn mood. <laughs> you know what, I'm not even gonna put you through the pain of watching me pick out an outfit because I know it's painful every time. I'll see you when I figure it out. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. Oh, I kind of do hate it. Fuck, okay, let's try again. It's better, it'll work, I don't care. You know what, it's good enough for me. Like, I'm really... Not in the mood to push my own boundaries today, so. But now I just wanna get back into, like do I really need to be in like a full fucking, do I need to be fitted up to get my nails done? No. I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't know. I look like shit today. Let's just clip it. This is what we're working with. Like I just, I gave up halfway. I honestly wanna change into sweatpants. Ew. What am I doing? You know what I mean? No, I'm getting into PJs. This is what we've landed on. I'm wearing these sweatpants, have a little name patch, the Ugg boots, pink sweatshirt, the sunglasses and the clip make me look probably more put together than I am. This is what we're getting today, folks. I mean, I really tried. I put on the outfit, I did. I tried, but this is what we're getting. My new favorite vintage store just opened back up. I keep debating whether or not I should go because I'm like, do I really need to go in there? No, I don't, but it was closed for like two months and I was so sad and then I drove by it the other day and I was like, hello, you're open. But before I go out, I do want to make a snack. So what's it gonna be? Okay, I guess we'll eat this as a snack. I'm too lazy to cook something right now. Chia pudding, mmm, mmm. 
So basically what's in this chia pudding, it looks kind of gross. It's chia seeds, a little bit of oatmeal, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of cinnamon, and it's kind of not my favorite food, but it honestly, I try to eat it once a day because it helps with my digestion. And then I'm using this granola, vanilla almond butter. Then we take some raspberries. Are we gonna wash them? No, should we? Yes. Mmm, it's actually good. I'm acting dramatic. Woo! Where are we going? We're going to the vintage store. I know, I know. I have a shopping addiction, I know. I would guess that 90% of women would claim that they have a shopping addiction. That could be totally false. That could be a terrible and wrong um, hypocrisy. Hypothesy. Is that what that word is? Siri, what's a hypothesis? Wait, what the fuck is that word? Hypothesis. What is that word? What is an educated guess called in science? Here's what I found from wikipedia.org. People refer to- Shut up! To Hypothesis! Y'all did not hear any of what I just went through. I don't know, anyway, I'm at the vintage store now, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at parking. Oh my God. Also, look where I am. The infamous pink wall, baby. I unfortunately did make purchases, so it would be inappropriate to not do a haul. I literally got two of the most boring things ever. Number one, I got this cropped yellow, similar to this cropped pink. It's pretty much the exact same except yellow. I love these little mini cropped crew neck sweatshirts. They're just so easy to throw on. This, just cause I like it. It fit really cute, you know. Shocker, another crew neck. A pair of Levi's that I don't need. It's honestly like it's a fit thing for me. If I ever find a pair of Levi's that has the right wash and the right fit for me, I buy them because they're just hard to come by and so, and they're literally my passion. That was my haul. I'm sweating my ass off. It's only 75 degrees, but I'm not wearing, I'm wearing like a wintry outfit today. Like this is kind of wintry, at least for California. So I need to go home and change. I'm back. I still have a lot of time until my nail appointment. So I'm kind of like, what are we going to do now? First, I'm gonna take a selfie. Cause I feel like my outfit's cool now and I want to take a selfie in it for my Instagram story. So we can watch that go down. <laughs> Wait, I feel awkward. Oh, this is a cool angle. Kind of turned out cool. Okay, see, whereas like this one with my face in it, let's not ever put that, you know what I mean? Just so you guys know, you know, not everything is like how you see on the internet. This is the type of shit I cut out. I have an appointment at three. I was wondering if there's any way I could come in at 2.30, maybe even get my toes done or something if I come in early. Sure, yeah. See, this is what communication does, guys. Communicate and reciprocate. You know, I wish that you could r rip up pieces of money. Like, let's say you had a $20 bill and somebody was like, oh yeah, that'll be $10. I wish you could just rip the $20 bill in half and give them half of it. Nobody's talking about that. Nail reveal, nail reveal, they said. Do I have a rash on my face? Fuck, I've been getting so many rashes recently. <laughs> anyway, everybody's like, Emma, Emma, do a nail reveal, do a nail reveal. Relax. I'm very much obsessed. This lady did my nails so well. She's a fucking angel. She was so sweet. I need to put a picture of this on my story because these are really life changing. But I officially do feel like a, a bad bitch again. I farted. I just got home and I was like, oh, okay, I'll probably cook dinner in an hour. My nails are far too long to cook right now. They're so long. I accidentally got them way too long, but I, I didn't really think about it. I was like just going with the flow and she was like, are these good? And I was like, yeah. And now they're so long. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to function properly for the next few weeks with these on because they're so long. Nobody talks about that with nails. Like I literally will not be able to do anything. Like I don't even know if I can play drums with these. Worth it though, because I feel like a baddie. <coughs> I want to drink this delicious sparkling water. I can't open it without breaking it out. So we need to get creative. I've seen Trisha Paytas do this. Look at that. A delicious raspberry lime sparkling water that matches my outfit. Mmm. 
leftovers. Ugh. Okay, so I know that I said I can't cook because of these nails, but there is one thing that I can cook and I'm gonna cook it right now because I like to have, you know like those certain foods that you like to have around the house? This is that for me. I'm gonna show you my tempeh recipe. <coughs> God, that was ruthless. Here's the process. You um, you make a sauce, and then you marinate the tempeh in the sauce, um, and then you put it in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. Oh, fuck. And then you just cut it. Cut up my tempeh, put it on the side. Um, I just cleaned this container in the most disgusting way. Like, it still has remainder of sauce in it. But the thing is, like, Okay, it just had the same thing in it. Like, I'm just making the same thing. It's not like flavors are gonna get mixed together that don't belong together. Here's how you make amazing tempeh sauce. You are going to need peanut butter, sesame oil, ginger powder, soy sauce, and sriracha, maple syrup, and I believe that that's it. Oh wait, no, lime juice. Okay, you're gonna take two spoonfuls of peanut butter, one, two, one tablespoon of sriracha, two tablespoons of sesame oil, I think, two tablespoons of lime, juice, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Take your ginger powder. Ow. Sprinkle a decent amount of ginger powder in there. Maple syrup and take a heaping, that was probably two tablespoons and I mix. Okay, so now I have this nice creamy sauce. It's not really that creamy, it still kind of has chunks in it. And then I take the tempeh, throw it in, cover all the pieces. And I take the dirty lid that I used the last time I made this and I put it right on, is that gross? So now I let this marinate for 12 to 24 hours, cook it in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes, comes out beautifully golden brown, <coughs> and then I eat it by itself, I eat it in stir fries, I eat it with other veggies, like a little, you know, one of those like Buddha bowls, nourish bowls, whatever the fuck they're called. This is it, if you're a vegetarian or vegan and you need some protein, that was your recipe of the day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hey bestie. Um, it is now the evening time. I have been in bed for many hours. Um, what have I been doing? Watching TikToks. And guess what? I shouldn't be doing that because I told myself I was gonna stop. But we fail. We're human. I think for the rest of the evening, I'm going to watch more TikToks, get ready for bed, and then go to bed. I'll probably go downstairs and have a few snacks. And that's kind of my evening routine, but let me tell you, it's not interesting. But I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Nail check! I'm obsessed with these. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Love you guys so much. I love you. You're my bestie. Thank you for hanging out with me. That's all I got. Me, like, doing anything to show off my nails. You're my, you're my bestie. I love you so much. I'm drinking herbal tea. It's actually... Wow, it says, give love, get love. Give love, get love. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. How many times do I have to say that before I just fucking turn the camera off? Here's your forehead kiss. I kind of went in for it a little sideways today. Have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing evening. If you're about to go to sleep, I hope that you sleep tight. If you're halfway through the day or it's the morning, I hope that the rest of your day is amazing. Forehead kiss, I love you so much. Uh, good night.